Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. Um, today I'm just going to put out a quick video doing my first impressions of the new Pillow Talk palette of pops and the new Pillow Talk lip luster. Now I'm going to do a, a complete look on Monday which I will post on Monday but for today I haven't got a lot of time and I'm pretty tired so I thought I would just do um, first impressions, showing you the swatches, and then I was going to show you some of the most obvious swatch comparisons. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first of all, let's go into this. Now, the palette of pops, it's a new palette of pops by Charlotte Tilbury. Looks different from the two palette of pops um, that she bought out last year, which were in this kind of glittery packaging. And yes, I do keep the packaging sometimes, especially when it's different. I'll probably eventually get rid of this one because it's kind of the normal packaging. Um, but I do keep it when it's unusual. So this is the Pillow Talk palette of pops, as you can see. And she's still going with Prime Enhance Smoke Pop, even on her palette of pops. All right, I have to say, I've looked at these very quickly and they are beautiful, they really are. And I haven't done any swatch comparisons yet. So as I'm looking at these, you're looking at them. Really is a first impression, apart from a quick swatch on my hand, but no comparisons I've done yet. Okay, and then she's brought out the Pillow Talk Lip Luster. And again, I've got some obvious comparisons to draw with the Lip Luster which is here. So let's get on with this, shall we? So first of all, let me swatch you the Pillow Talk palette of pops. So first on, we have the prime shade. Now, this is probably quite similar to a lot of things, but as I've said before, there's only so many prime shades that you can do. So it's sort of, it's gold, but if you can see in this light, it's sort of got a bit of a pinkish undertone to it, but it actually looks more gold as I'm looking at it. Okay, and then we go in with the Enhance. And I will put that here. So that's the Enhance shade. And then we have the Smoke shade, which is a beautiful ready burgundy shade. lovely for autumn and then the pop pop which is this one so they are really beautiful shades now i'm just going to take a photograph of these and i'll be right back Okay, now the first obvious thing to do is to compare it with the Pillow Talk eyeshadow quad, which is here. So I'm going to put those next to them. Now, obviously, these are not pops apart from this one. So um, we're going to see those next to the palette of pops. So first on in, we have the prime shade. And I'm going to put that, put that over here. And then we have the Enhanced Shade, which I'll put over the Enhanced Shade of Palette of Pops. And then we have the Smoke Shade. And then we have the Pop Shade. Now, it'll be interesting to see how this one compares. So, as you can see, they're kind of... So, that's Pillow Talk Regular, that's Palette of Pops, Pillow Talk Regular, Palette of Pops, Pillow Talk Regular, Palette of Pops, 
a little uh, regular palette of pops. As you can see, it's kind of an amped up version. So it's a good way of amping up this palette for night. And that's what I'm going to do when I do a look um, on Monday. Okay. But the other thing I've been desperate to look at it again is Supersonic Girl, which if you remember, it was a palette of pops that Charlotte brought out last year. And when I looked at this palette, I thought, isn't that just Supersonic Girl? So it's very similar. I think it's on a very similar colour scheme. So I'm going to show you the two palettes together. So this was a palette of pops as well. And as you remember, it had the glittery front with lots of fingerprints on it. Let me just, there we go. And so this is what Supersonic Girl looked like. I can get it open. Okay, so let's hold that next to the palette of pops in Pillow Talk to see if there's any similarities because that's the one that leapt out at me. Okay, so as you can see, they're similar, but this one's got sort of more ready tones. They're on the similar color scheme, but they're not the same. So let me just swatch Supersonic Girl and I will put that next to my other swatches. All right, so I just need to make sure I don't confuse myself. So this is Supersonic Girl. Just hold on a second. I've just got to pause this for a second. Okay, so we're going to swatch Supersonic Girl. So first on in, we have the Prime Shade. And I'm gonna put that one I'm going to put these here on the other arm for a minute and I'm going to swatch them again next to the pillow, pillow talk palette of pops. Sorry, I'm getting myself into such a model, muddle here. Model, model, muddle. Right, pillow talk. This is Supersonic Girl and this is the Prime Shade. And then let's put the prime shade of Pillow Talk palette of pops, which appears to be quite a bit lighter. Okay, and then the enhanced shade of Supersonic Girl, which is a lot more orangey. And then the enhanced shade of Pillow Talk palette of pops and then the smoke shade of supersonic girl it's a lot more red toned i think and then the smoke shade of the pillow talk palette of pops and then the pop shade of Supersonic Girl and the pop shade of Pillow Talk palette of pops. Okay, so I'm going to take a photograph of that and I'll be right back. I actually put all three palettes next to one another, so Pillow Talk Pillow Talk Palette of Pops and Supersonic Girl from left to right so that you could see them all together. Okay, so what you've just seen there is all three of those palettes together. You can see they're all on a similar spectrum, but if you love that spectrum, then it gives you a lot more options. Now, next up, we have the Pillow Talk Lip Luster. Now, the first time I saw this, I think Shoshana sent me a picture. Um, and the first time I saw it, I immediately thought of another lip luster. And I've got to swatch them next to one another. I'm just trying to find some space where I haven't swatched. Right, let me just, I'm just going to go and clean up my hands. I'll be okay. back. I'm going to do it on my hand. So this is the Pillow Talk Lip Luster. And I have to say, I do love 
this it really looks beautiful okay but when I saw it in the tube and this is what I'm really interested to see when I saw this in the tube I immediately thought of seduction lip gloss and I'm going to show you seduction which is slightly paler but it looks very similar so I am just going to swatch seduction next to it underneath it and I think actually once you swatch it it doesn't look as similar okay so yeah it's got more of a purplish kind of pillow talk background because seduction historically was the one that used to be put over pillow talk when anyone wanted to put a lip bluster on a charlotte tilbury kind of campaign seduction was the one that they used now just um to show you some other similar ones we have high society and sweet stiletto i'm going to show you sweet stiletto next um they're all on a similar spectrum all of them you could potentially use with the pillow talk look so that's sweet stiletto and the other one is high society which is very similar none of these have got a sparkly too much of a sparkle in them like pillow talk they're sort of a cream background rather than a shimmery one okay so you have pillow talk seduction um sweet stiletto and high society so i'm just going to take a photograph of those and i'll be right back okay now as i said i'm going to do a a full look using the pillow talk the whole pillow talk look with the palette of pops on Monday so tune in on Monday for that but before I finish I couldn't wait to try out pillow talk I haven't got any other makeup on today apart from some tinted sunscreen um, but I just want to try this I haven't used liner put some pillow talk lipstick on and then use the pillow talk lip luster over the top to see what it looks like so here goes So that's Pillow Talk. And now for the Pillow Talk Lip Luster over the top. Okay, so my first impressions, is it worth it? Well, if you have got the Pillow Talk lipstick, this matches it perfectly and gives it a glow. However, if you've got the Superstar Shiny Pillow Talk, um, you may think, well, do you need it? Because you've already got a shiny lipstick. But if you like having a version of matte, which the lipstick is, and get bored and then you want it to be shiny then you've got that option with these two together if you've got the superstar pillow talk because you always like a shiny pillow talk lip then you're not really going to need this that's one thing to consider um i think in terms of shade comparisons i think if you've got supersonic girl I thought they were quite similar and they are but bear in mind that these are a lot more red toned than pink toned um, I think that was shown in my swatches 
So they are on a similar spectrum. So this is Supersonic Girl, um, but they've got more orangey red tones than the Pillow Talk. And I just think as a whole, it's a beautiful palette. My one little criticism, I will say, is that I noticed that Charlotte put up the price of this. Now, I know she said in the past that her pop, uh, pop shades are more expensive to make, and that's why she only puts one in each quad. But last year, when she did her palette of pops, they were £39, and I noticed they've now gone up to £42 which I think is a lot of money for pop shades. I accept that they are more expensive to make, but considering that you're going to use these as a topper, um, if I can get a look out of them on their own, then I still think it's worth it and it's kind of a normal price increase. But if these are only going to be used as toppers, I think £42 for four toppers is quite expensive. Um, and I just noticed, and it made me wonder whether all her quads are now going to be £42, which is a lot of money per ounce. So you're getting, let me just check, you are getting um, how much? 5.2 grams of product for now £42 which when you compare it to her big palette that she's just bought out is a lot more expensive per gram. Haven't done the maths yet. I'll do that on Monday. Okay, I'm going to do the maths now um, because I have made a mistake and I want to correct it. I do not want to be unfair because actually the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize bigger palette has only got 7.5 grams of product in it which compared to this one, which has got 5.2 grams. So there's actually not that much difference in the price per 10 grams. So the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize is um, £80.77 per 10 grams. And this one is £80 per 10 grams or the other way around. But there's 77p difference between them. So I take it back. It isn't more expensive than the larger palettes. Um, I think I was getting confused with the Icon palette, which had a lot more product in it. So sorry about that, but they're about the same price. But overall, I love it. I can't wait to do a look for you guys. So tune in on Monday. Hope you've enjoyed my video and I'm not displeased with it at all. I love it. It is very similar to a lot of stuff that she's already bought out but I do think they are beautiful eye shades. Let's now campaign. Charlotte, we want a Pillow Talk colour chameleon. We're not bored of the Pillow Talk concept yet, but let's get inventive with the products. I want a Pillow Talk rose gold colour chameleon. I want a Pillow Talk liner, which is kind of a lighter reddy brown that will go with the palette. Let's see that coming soon. I would love it. Okay, take care all of you, and I'll see you on Monday. Don't forget to tune in when I'll do a full look using the entire Pillow Talk collection. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.